Hey guys, welcome back to another monster video. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a monster analysis on the monster Onikappa. But this is a new monster coming out very soon, and I'm going to do an analysis letting you guys know if this monster is actually worth investing in. So I hope you're all excited. If you are, make sure you drop a like, subscribe. Anyways, we're going to get started. So we've got a new monster in our hand. Uh, never trust a book by its cover, or in this case, a yokai by its reputation. Alright, so anyways, let's go ahead and watch this little video. A mini short video. Before we do the analysis, introducing oh the one and only. It's a nature and earth monster. Let's see the traits. The traits should pop up in a bit. Ooh, it's gonna be a tank. I was actually kind of expecting it. like the way he just looks. You know what I mean? He looks like he's gonna be a tank or a supporter, but a tank. Alright, let's see what we got here. So nature and earth category, um, two elements. That's good. And we have spirits and good legions. Okay, another monster in spirits and good legions. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, the the monster that I did analysis on literally before this, um, what is it called? Yoshi something. That one's also in the same book, no? Especially in good legions, I remember that. Uh, I'm not sure about this one. This one, um, it is a book, but I don't know if this is actually for team wars or not. Um, but anyways, so let's take a look at the skills. Distracting stench applies taunt to itself, removes all control status effect from itself, and that's about it. You just remove control status effect. Ignis Batus, right? So that is a moderate nature damage to all enemies, applies toxins and quicksand. So it comes with two torches, that's kind of good, right? Onion layers, moderate nature damage to one enemy, applies toxins and quicksand. It is only to one enemy, keep that in mind. We do have uh, whatever metabolism. It removes all control status effect from one ally, applies control immunity to itself. I'm not really a huge fan of this skill set, honestly. I do like the fact that you can kind of reapply your taunt. So once you lose it, it's not like you, you know, you just lose it forever. Kind of like Jellymer, right? I'm pretty sure uh, if I'm not mistaken, again, Jell Jellymer's uh, taunt, what, once it runs out, it's forever, like it's forever gone. Um, and hopefully that taunt doesn't last for one turn. We're going to have to see. I hope it doesn't last for one turn. Um, but yeah, so you can reapply your taunt if you ever lose it. And it also removes control status effects, which is pretty cool. But I wish it had just removed negative status effects just in general. And it would have been cool if this monster had some healing abilities as well. Maybe it does. Maybe it's not mentioned here. So anyways, at level 150, you're getting about 1.1 million life. Not bad at all. So 1,108,271. That's pretty high. I like that. For a tank, mm -hmm. 37,072 power, 19,216 speed. So speed's not super, super fast, obviously. And I was expecting that with tanks. But overall, you know, it's a meh monster so far with the skill set that there is. But I do like the fact that this monster could apply the taunt again. So once you lose it, you can reapply it again. But again, I wish there were some healing abilities, some NER skills. Maybe some shield skills would have been cool, like damage detection shield. That would have been really nice. Unfortunately, none of that. Now, moving on to the skill sheet. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. We have about 395,096 life. Power is 15,686 our uh and then speed is 11,121 speed that's speed right at level 100 hmm yeah i think so i think it is but i don't know uh elements elements we have nature and earth okay uh traits evolving traits rank zero immune to possession rank one immune to sudden death and then rank three statues of taunt now it doesn't mention how many turns this taunt lasts hopefully it's not you know just one turn and it goes away Hopefully it's at least three turns. That way this monster is a bit usable. I do like the fact that it is immune to sudden death. That's kind of cool. Um, but it means possession. I mean, I would have taken like, I would have taken, first of all, taunt as a trait would have been nice. I would have taken, yo, th this would have been nice. Dodge area. Can you imagine? But no, not dodge area. All right. Uh, that's, that's taking it too far, right? But you never know. Maybe like they, ML just surprises us with like random, like nice monsters, like uh, out of nowhere, like for example, Serpentix, you know what I mean? With Pierce and all those heavy, massive damaging skills. So they'll, they'll go all out on a specific monster, but not on this one, unfortunately. So immune to possession though, I wish that was like immune to torture. I would've taken that honestly, immune to torture would've been cool. I will say the relics are pretty nice for this tank monster. We have armor and shield. For armor, you can give in like Killer Arcs armor or Vodamelter armor. There's, there's a lot of armor that you can play around with and give uh, for shield. There's a lot of shields as well. Um, some of the recent ones are pretty nice too. Mermaid Spearman is, I feel like, one of the best ones to give. Uh, and then for the books, you have Honor Dojo. That's the one that it was. So Honor Dojo, I wonder if that's actually in Team Wars. Because, I, like, here's the thing. With, with Team Wars, I, 
I'm no longer with Team Spirit 2015, right? So the top team, the top teams, I'm not sure if they get Team Wars restriction like that because in the lower league where I am with Team Skyline, we don't have that. Um, so I'm not sure. You guys can let me know in the comments down below if you guys do know. But anyways, Spirit's Good Legions, good books. Uh, although Good Legions is packed with a lot of, uh, a lot of, um, which might call it a monster. So I don't know if that's going to be a bad thing or a good thing if you look at it and it's uh, you know in one way or the other uh because good way would be oh there's a lot of monsters you can use this monster to f you know kind of defend against those monsters but then you could also look at it that way uh, meaning like there's a lot of options you can just go with those and not with this monster you know what i mean anyways basic attacks we have onarada which is a applies toxins to one enemy nobody's gonna run that don't run it we do have this other skill low earth damage all enemies nobody's gonna run that either we do have swamps swampy blessing which removes control satisfaction from one ally and that's about it wiggling catfish moderate earth damage and applies quicksand to all enemies not, not really that good uh although the first three skills are zero cooldown if you want to run them but i don't think anybody's gonna run them and it, it's funny because it takes 30 stamina cost for that toxins uh one enemy skill like that's that's crazy i, I wouldn't that should have just been zero stamina cost zero cool then if anything it's so bad i don't want to run that at all no I, I better not see anybody running that skill anyways so in my personal opinion i think you should run the tier two and tier three skills the, men, the skills that were mentioned in the skill sheet that we saw earlier uh so tier two and tier three only these run these skills and in terms of stamina cost it's moderate to low it's not that bad uh and then cooldowns are actually moderate to low as well so not bad either on that side ultimate uh belly flop which, which is a moderate nature damage and applies fear to all enemies removes all control status from all allies okay i would have actually taken like dual you know dueling whatever damage and pring and then applying fear you know what i mean although that control status effect from allies i think that could come in handy in some cases if let's say you mess up you really need that and your monsters are like control this or whatever you can use this to control the enemies and then remove the control from your allies as well um so anyways i would say it's a decent tank it's not a must have so don't invest your uh what is, it's not corallias right what's what's the newer ones for the alpine era don't invest that okay the nebulas or whatever no it's not nebula what the heck is it let me know comment below i forgot north berries right north berries don't invest your north berries all right i think that's what it is i hope i'm right about that but don't invest that save it this monster is not worth using that on you know what i mean there's better monsters out there there will be better ones hopefully hopefully but this one mm -mm. but if you do have it sells yeah sure you can rank it up you can use it here and there it's not a bad monster but it is not going to be like a top tier meta monster either um because it does lack skill wise you know i would have taken some ner skills some healing damage section shield life regions all the things thinking things like that because it is a tank monster you know what i mean it would be nice unfortunately it doesn't have that and then that taunt we don't know if it's going to be one turn or three turns you know what i mean even though it's a status caster i i would have taken a trade i would have taken like a means of torture trade too that would have been very nice but unfortunately not um so it is lacking a lot of things uh in terms of runes what i would highly recommend giving this monster would be one life and two team speed or two life and one team speed the reason why i said two life is because again this monster is a taunt so most of the time you're probably going to be running it with two dodge area monsters on the side you know so some dodge area monsters on the side would be for example ural naya whatever other dodge area monster that's out there that's good right now so yeah pretty decent monster overall uh, again not a must have but let me know comments down below what you guys think let me know your thoughts and opinions and that's going to be pretty much it thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one peace out